Hi guys, welcome to week 14 pregnancy vlog. I imagine this is going to be a pretty short video because not a lot has changed and um, I'm still having the same main three symptoms, nausea, fatigue and peeing a lot. Uh, the nausea is different to what it has been, um, as in it's not like an all day, every day thing, it's more it's more gone from feeling like nausea to like I just gag a lot and um, pretty much every morning I feel the need to throw up but um, I really only throw up every probably second day and some days I throw up multiple times but um, uh, yeah so I guess that's in a sense is better the nausea is better um, fatigue is a lot better than it was in the first trimester, definitely. In the first tri trimester I was like feeling like I needed to have a nap in the middle of the day, like every single day. Whereas now I just start sort of feeling a bit tired but I don't feel like I need to go and have that nap. Like I can still um, be fine for the rest of the day if I don't have a nap. <clears throat> Peeing a lot. Oh my god. I thought that was supposed to start letting up in the second trimester as the uterus moves up um, over the pubic bone and relieves pressure on the uh, bladder. But I'm still peeing like, I don't know, like every 20 minutes or something. It's oh, It really annoys me. It annoyed me a lot with um, when I was pregnant with Caden too. I just could not get over how much you need to pee. It's just, oh, it's so persistent. And even if you don't even drink a lot, you still need to pee, like, every 20 minutes. It's just ridiculous. Uh, during the night, I get woken up um, with a full bladder and have to pee only once at, at the moment. I know that's going to change um, further on down the track, but at the moment it's only once during the night. Um... Speaking of during the night, my god, last night I had the worst night's sleep ever. I woke up at about 4 with an absolutely splitting headache and I've had this friggin' headache ever since. I had two Panadol and it didn't do anything and I just still have, it's like sort of behind my left eye but it sort of extends to the back of my head as well so... Yeah, it's really, and like if, you know, if I like shake my head or do anything too sort of vigorous with my head, it just kills. Like I sneezed earlier, oh my god, I thought my head was going to explode. Um, apart from those few things, uh, I can tell over the past week that um, my belly has gotten bigger. I can just tell because, well not only, I measured the other day and it was, um, uh, what was it, uh, 89, which is like 2 centimeters bigger, but also my scales are saying that I am 61.4 kilos, so that's a gain of 800 grams. Yeah, and like with my jeans, I've been using just a hair tie to hold the two ends together. Oh, sorry. And, um, like, I'm just starting to feel that, um... As, because I mean, the hair tie, it's got a bit of slack in it, but it's not real, real loose, so it's still quite firm against my um, uh, abdomen, and I can, you can just tell that it just, it's, it's really, it's really hard to explain like how it feels. You just have to be pregnant to sort of understand how it feels. It just feels really uncomfortable and unnatural and just it kind of makes me a bit squeamish like uh, having something on it or pushing it in just just feels really kind of horrible to me like the other day I picked Caden up to put him on my lap and I just put him straight down on top of my belly and oh my god the feeling is just oh it's you just can't describe it. It just doesn't feel right. It feels really, really bad. 
But um, yeah, so I can just tell that um, I don't really know if it looks a lot bigger, but I can tell that you know just within myself and with my measurements and my weight that I have gained a bit. Uh, what else? Um, I think that's pretty much it for 14 weeks. N nothing's really changed apart from growing a little bit. Um, the nails on this hand are still awesome. Uh, I don't know if you can see. But on this hand, they're horrible. I don't understand why they're really good on one hand and horrible on the other. But um, I've still got uh, my breakouts a lot better. You can just see that I've got one on my chin in the camera. But yeah, they're, it's a lot better. Uh, what else? I can't think. Oh, I can tell that um, my areolas are darkening. And my boobs just look so much bigger than what they used to be. Um, I reckon that's about it. We haven't bought anything new. Not yet. Oh, we're finding out. I don't know if I mentioned this in my last video or not but um we booked our gender ultrasound for january 19th at 4 20 and that's that's at a private place like we're doing that um we're paying for that ourselves before you know because we don't want to wait for the 19 week morphology we want to find out as early as we can so yeah that's in less than two weeks and i i think it's going to be a boy that's that's what I feel in my waters that it's gonna be a boy, even though I'd like a girl because you know girls are just well because I have a boy and having a girl would mean that I have one of each. But you know also because you know you can put pretty boys in their hair and dress them in cute little dresses and stuff. But I was actually talking to Beji today about how I would much rather have a teenage boy than a teenage girl. I think boys are just so much easier, there's less to worry about with them and but yeah whatever as long as it's healthy I don't really know what I prefer anymore I know how awesome it is to have a boy but <clears throat> on the other hand I know that I'd like to have a girl to have one of each but then yeah I don't know whatever I don't really I suppose I don't really care that much, just as long as it's healthy. But I, I do personally think that it's a boy, and Beji thinks it's a girl, even though he wants a boy. Uh, so yeah, I guess we'll find out in two weeks. And as long as it is like blatantly obvious, I'm gonna share if it's a whether it was a girl or a boy. So um, if you want to be included in the <clears throat> competition for the um, gender, weight, length and date of birth then uh, get in your boy girl guesses otherwise your boy girl guess won't, will not count after I've um, announced it obviously I might do a separate competition, oh, not, not a competition, I'll just do a separate video before we find out what it is see what everybody thinks it's going to be um, Yes, I think that is it. I've said that about ten times, haven't I? I'll just do belly shot and measurement. And I reckon that's it for this week. A fairly short one compared to all my others. Alrighty. Alright. Um, the lighting's not so great, I don't think, in here. But here is from the front. You're not going to be able to tell anything. Oh, that's another thing. I can really notice that I'm rounding out here on the sides. Like I'm not putting on weight anywhere else, but yeah, I can just feel and like down low, I can um feel that it's rounding out. But yeah, from the front, from the side. I don't know how well you can see. I'll go against the wall. Let me just fix. Okay, so from the side and top up, from the 
side. I don't know, do you think it's bigger at all? I don't know. But it's like definitely coming like, um, you know, coming out from real down low. And from front, and you can definitely see that I'm rounding out here. But you can see that it's like a bit poochy on the sides as it's becoming round. Like it's rounding here as well as it's rounding here. But I'm still, like with my son, flat in the middle. I was always flat at the belly button with my son. Now the other day it was measuring 89. Oh, and it still is. 89. So that's, is it straight? Oh, pulling it a little bit tight, I think. Mm, that's a bit better. So 89.90, we'll say. What's that? Yeah, about 89 and a half, we'll say. And weight is, what did I say it was? 61.4. So I am finally starting to gain weight, even though I still haven't gained from my... Um, starting pregnancy weight which was uh, 62 and a half kilos I think so I'm still down one kilo from previous pregnancy weight but that is a massive tongue twister all right um, I guess that is it until 15 weeks and I'll see you all then bye